I'd like to share some thoughts with you that could really improve your car photography. Some may call them pro tips. I'll just call them thoughts. I see a lot of guys shooting handheld, walking around in skinny jeans with big holes in the knees. Well, some of the best car photos are shot low to the ground. Those dramatic angles require you to kneel or even lay down on a very cold, damp, wet street. So wear sensible trousers. Okay, seriously, handheld shooting does have its place. But I believe that not enough of us are using tripods. Specifically, tripods in conjunction with polarizing filters. When we use these two pieces of equipment together, we can take our quality to a whole new level, to a professional level. I guess I should demonstrate this, right? So I'm gonna need a really cool vehicle to shoot then, aren't I? What can I shoot? Well, they've given us a nice bunch of goodies, including an umbrella, and I think that's gonna come in handy today because rain is forecast this afternoon. So we're gonna unload all of our gear into the Defender and this is coming with me, let's go. Well, we've arrived at the Land Rover test track. We're gonna have a quick coffee and sandwich before we go on to the, the trail. They're gonna guide us through. We're gonna have a first sort of initial run to, to see the lay of the land, and then we'll figure out from there where we're gonna film and photograph. So we've been around the test track once, we've figured out where we're gonna shoot some video, and right now it's photography time. So today, because we're doing a run and gun situation, we've got a very tight schedule to work to, I'm using a zoom lens, just the one zoom lens, a 24 to 70, and I've got a polarizing filter on there. This is one of the most important things that you need to do when you're shooting cars, is use a polarizer filter, because otherwise you just get all the reflection from the bodywork and the windshield, and it does not look good. Actually, sometimes it's best to take a photo on a tripod and take a couple of exposures, adjusting the polarizer each time so you can eliminate reflections from both the bodywork and the windshield. Let's get into a little bit more detail. A polarizing filter is essential if you want to eliminate reflections when you're shooting a side profile of a vehicle or straight on shot. A tripod and a polarizer combined are essential if you're shooting a three quarter view of a vehicle where you've basically got two sets of reflections, two angles of reflections. Here's an unprocessed shot of the Defender from a front three quarter view. You can see there's lots of distracting reflections on the front of the vehicle and on the side of the vehicle. If we pop on a polarizer, we can eliminate the reflection on the front, on the windshield, but it's still on the side because that's at a whole different angle of reflection. If we turn our polarizer to get rid of that side reflection, they reappear on the front again. So we need to take two shots and blend them together to get that final shot without any reflection. You can only do that with a polarizer and a tripod. Here's the final shot that I processed. Now there will be times when you don't need to use the polarizer so strongly, you can dial it back. Times where you're out in the middle of nowhere where there's nothing to reflect but the sky. 
And if you're shooting in blue hour after the sunset and it's a clear sky, you've just got a nice graduated color. And sometimes it's actually nice to have that reflect in the vehicle and you know, not use the polarizer. Oh, and if you're interested, that new Land Rover Defender is quite the amazing vehicle. It's incredibly capable off-road. Actually surprised me, to be honest, and I've done a lot of off-roading in my time. And also on-road, feels more like a Range Rover than the old Defender that I used to own. Here's a couple of my favorite images from the launch. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see more content like this, you know what to do.